Thank you for introduction. I'm Yuki Yamamoto. Today, I'd like to propose a new multi-scale model and show result of model validation. Here is an outline of my presentation. First, some background. Recently, strength and thickness of steel plate for container ship are increasing. Generally, the increase of thickness in steel makes the risk of retrofracture higher. So, not only prevention of retrocrack initiation, also crack propagation is essential as double integrity. The application of steel with higher stability is directly effective to ensure the integrity. And it has been recognized microstructures and macroscopic RS toughness has a strong correlation. However, there are no theories which have quantitatively explained this relationship in the past investigations. One of the problems to be solved is scale gap between microscopic and macroscopic phenomena. So today, we show the first attempt to solve the problem of scale gap by a model synthesis approach. To sum up, we propose a new multi-scale model to simulate complex behavior of a brittle fracture based on the information of microstructures of steel. Next, I'd like to talk about multi-scale model. First, model concept. The model concept is framework of the model synthesis and simple as possible. Based on this concept, we develop the model as coupling of microscopic model for convex structure on grain scale and macroscopic model for brittle crack propagation of whole plate. The same framework for domain discretization and criterion of crack propagation is used in both the models for simplification. In the present model, the, the three-dimensional crack propagation is simulated quasi three-dimensional. To put it concretely, the entire domain is divided into square inch cells as shown in this figure. Then crack propagation is modeled by a step-by-step -step calculation. The entire domain for the microscopic model is defined as square and the size is 1 by 1 millimeters in width and thickness direction. The unit cell size is grain, mean grain scales, mean grain size, that is, each unit cell in microscopic model simulates a grain of steel. Then, crack propagation is evaluated at each crack tip cells. On the other hand, for the macroscopic model, the entire domain is defined as actual plate size, and unit cell in macroscopic model corresponds to microscopic model. So, the size of unit cell in macroscopic model is 1 by 1 millimeters. The evaluation of crack propagation, we use preparatory finite element analysis. Crack propagation is evaluated by a criterion between a comparing between driving force and resistance. Resistance is defined as material constant in microscopic model, and for in the macroscopic model. Resistance is calculated from microscopic model. For the calculation of stress intensity factor, it is performed superposition of the approximated solutions for the effect of these three crack shapes. The actual calculation flow is composed of these three stage analysis. First is finite element analysis and second stage is Monte Carlo simulation for microscopic analysis and third stage is macroscopic analysis. The calculations are performed as one-way coupling from former stage to latter stage for simplification. Next, I'd like to talk about each model. In the first stage, nodal force release method is employed to simulate fast crack propagation under dynamic elastic plastic condition. And the model size is 
one quarter of the actual size and we use fine mesh in a propagation region as shown in this figure. <coughs> the analysis is performed as shown in this movie. Then, the distributions of the stress tensor at character distance from crack tip is obtained for calculation of driving force in the following analysis. Next, microscopic model. The microscopic model simulates cleavage crack propagation on the ice cap. Cleavage plane, plane, planes are known to form on 100 plane of each grain, so we assume when a grain has 100 plane like this figure, fracture takes place along the 100 plane with maximum normal tensile stress. For the coupling with microscopic model, we use two physical quantities, local earth toughness and normal vector of surface. As I mentioned before, whole domain in microscopic model corresponds to unit cell in microscopic model, so these coupling parameters are calculated from the results of the microscopic model. Local earth toughness is calculated from the plastic work to form tillage. And normal vector of surface is calculated from the approximated plane by the least square method. As the second stage of the simulation, Monte Carlo simulation using microscopic analysis at each discrete evaluation point with this data is performed. And then the distributions of coupling parameters are calculated. Next, microscopic model. In the third stage, the procedure consists of two parts. First part is assignment of bias at each unit cell by interpolation procedures and then crack propagation analysis. Assignment of bias is performed as to stress tensor and coupling parameters and we use standard interpolation for the assignment of stress tensor and for the assignment of coupling parameters we use interpolation of CPD and weighted probability by linear interpolation function. Finally, we apply the proposed model to the crack temperature gradient crack arrest test as validation. The test still have a non-homogeneous distribution of texture in thickness direction. And the temperature was distributed from low to high, as shown in this figure, and the crack was initiated by impact loading. Then, here is an experimental result. The crack was arrested at 154 millimeters in the experiment, and as shown in this figure of the fracture surface, split nails are formed at crack arrested location. And then, here is the result of the proposed model. Next, let's move on to comparison between model and the experiment. The crack was arrested at 158 mm in simulation. So the, so the arrested crack length in the simulation was accurately consistent with in, that in experimental result of 154 mm. Next, Let's look at the shape of the arrested crack front. As shown in this figure, the simulation result shows a good agreement with the experimental result. In particular, the formation of split nails are accurately simulated in the simulation results. Next, let's look at the boundary as shown in red and blue in this figure. The global tendency of chevron pattern of fracture surface are well reproducible. Taken together, crack arrest behavior has been successfully simulated by consideration of both microscopic and macroscopic effects. To sum up, we develop a multi-scale model 
and the model successfully simulated the complicated beta cloud propagation and arrest behavior. Future prospect. It is expected to improve accuracy by modifying the components of the model. And the present study has a potential basis of framework to establish the theory to clarify the relationship between microstructures and microscopic arrest toughness. Thank you for your kind attention.